Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Sometimes it can happen that the icon of the wireless is disappeared, like it has happened in my PC. In this video I'll show to you guys how to fix this problem. Sometimes this problem can become complicated, for that reason I'll show you four different methods how to fix this problem. This video is done in Windows 11, but the methods can be easily applied on Windows 10. Well, the first thing that you will need to do is to restart your PC. It sounds funny, but actually you have to do that and there are high chances that your Wi-Fi will be back after the restart. The first method that you actually need to do is to find the wireless network adapters and disable and enable that. We can find network adapters through control panel and for that reason we go at search and we type here control panel. Once you see the app control panel you just click over it in order to open. Now here on the control panel we view by category so we click over here and we choose view by category and then from the options here we need to click over network and internet. Now we click over network and share in center. And now from this options on the left, we need to click over change adapter settings. And here we are, here are all the network adapters that I have on my PC. Another way how you can come on the network adapters is by just searching here, view network status and tasks. Here it is the search, view network status and task from the control panel. If you just click over here, you come on this page and then you click over change adapter settings and we'll come directly on the network connections. So over here we can see that my Wi-Fi is disabled and we click with the right of the mouse over it and we choose enable. Now it's enabled and let's give it a try now my wireless. So here we are now my wireless is showing here. But even if your wireless is not disabled, please disable it once and then enable it again. So do a disable enable process and check if your wireless icon is back. Meanwhile that you are here, just note the wireless adapter name, which in my case is Intel Dual Bond Wireless AC3165, because we're gonna need for the next method. The next method needs to be applied on the device manager. So for that reason, we go at search and we type here device manager. Once you see the device manager, you just click over it once in order to open. And now we click over network adapters and my wireless adapter is this one, Intel Dual Bond Wireless AC3165. What we do over here, we click with the right of the mouse and we disable the device. Are you sure you want to disable? Yes. And then we enable it once again. Now, once you did the enable and disable process, we click once again with the right of the mouse over the wireless adapter and we choose update driver. Don't worry, you will not need internet to do this step because we are just gonna browse my computer for drivers. So you just click over browse my computer for drivers and now we click over let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then you choose the latest version of the driver that is already installed or downloaded on your computer. In my case is this one here, which is released on 2018. We select it and we click over next. The idea of this step is to reinstall the wireless driver and normally this will give it a chance to fix the problem with the icon of the wireless. So the next thing that we are gonna do on the wireless adapter is to click once again with the right of the mouse and we uninstall the device. Once again, for this step, you are not gonna need internet, so we click with the right of the mouse over the wireless adapter, and then we choose uninstall devices. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes, uninstall. After we uninstall the wireless adapter, we have to restart the computer, and then the computer by itself will install the wireless driver. Another way how you can easily reinstall the wireless adapter is by going over action on the device manager and we just click over scan for hardware changes. But I would recommend to do a restart of the PC. So here we are, my wireless adapter is installed and the icon of wireless is back on my PC also this time. 
The next method that you may need to try is to go over the internet sign over here and then you click over this edit quick settings. This method is applicable only on Windows 11. So we click over this edit quick settings and then we click over add and from here we choose Wi-Fi. And here we are, my Wi-Fi is showing here and you can drag it and drop wherever you want on this and then you click over done. So this was a simple method that you can apply only on Windows 11. The last method that you can try is to open settings. So we go over search and we type settings. Once you see settings, you just click over it in order to open. Now from the options on the left, we need to click over network and internet. And now we need to find advanced network settings and we click over here. So advanced network settings and then we scroll down till we find network reset. We click over here and with this way we will remove and then reinstall all the network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. Once again, you will not need internet to do this step. So you just click over reset now and this settings of the network adapters will be resetted. Normally, this is the last method that you will need to try in order to recover the icon of wireless. And actually, it's one of the best methods to fix any kind of problem that you may have with the internet connection. Another tip that I will give it to you is if the wireless icon is missing after an update of your PC, then you can uninstall the latest update or you can restore your PC to a previous state when actually your PC was working. For a more detailed explanation on how you can do this, please find the links for two other videos on the description below. So you just have to go over Windows Update and you go over Update History and here you can uninstall the updates that may have caused this kind of problems. But more detailed explanation you can find on those videos that are in the description below. So those were some of the methods that will help you to fix the problem with the Wi-Fi icon. Please write on the description below which one of these methods worked for you. And if there is another method that actually worked for you, please let us know. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this can be a little bit complicated to fix sometimes. That's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.